Oh, that was fun. Welcome back, no to Mini Micro Survival Episode for, with <laughs> Redstone <laughs> for Dummies. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, just looking out at all the carnage happening over there, there's lots of fire. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Okay, what do we need? We need what do we do okay, we need next? So we're, next, we'll need more redstone dust. Okay, check got that. And come on back up here, and then all of these building blocks and the glass. And the building blocks that I'm standing on right now, cover them all with redstone dust. Like so. Yep. Oh, and uh, and these up here too, yep. Okay. Very nice. Okay, now we need dirt blocks for the flowers. These are for the, where the, uh, we'll plant the, um, the flowers for the bees to pollinate. So yeah, let's come on down. Yeah, I got them. So just like that, seven more. Okay. Check. Okay, good. And now what? Uh, glass. I think we need glass next. Check. Okay, super. Wait a second. Let me let me double check my diagrams here. It's the pure lack of a schematic sheep that is now uh, issuing. I see. Yeah, that is probably the problem here. Oh, we need to put in the dispenser blocks. Okay. Hold on to that glass, but yeah, grab the dispensers. Okay, let me climb up here. This is kind of tricky. What you need to do is place that dispenser so it's facing straight down, attached to the bottom of that. Yeah, it is, it's really tricky. Sort of have to aim at like the corner. Yeah, there you go. And then repeat that seven more times. Nice. Um. I'm missing one dispenser, right? Uh-oh. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be eight. We got one fell in the chest. Okay. All oh, right. The one that I broke that. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yep. Loop. Okay. Okay. Good. Looking good. Okay. Gosh, there's a lot of husks out here. Yeah, there's a lot of them there. Okay. Okay, now get the glass. Wait, no, no, hang on. Um, what do we do? Oh, we need slabs. Okay, right, all right, right. Yep, got slabs. All right, do you see that dirt block that I just put there on top of that hopper? Yeah. Put a slab in front of it so it's a top slab. Yep, and then repeat that seven more. Yeah, there you go. This will keep the bees from uh, from getting out while we're uh, doing the rest of the building here. Okay. okay, and then that dirt block that I just got rid of, put a beehive there. Or, sorry, a bee's nest. You may as well collect all the bee's nests if you have the inventory room. I'm more surprised that it don't stack. But, yeah. I know, yeah. I'm thinking it's because each one can have a different number of bees and a different amount of honey in it. Yeah. Okay, so I place it basically on top of the dispenser, right? Uh, so it's under the dispenser and facing t the holes should be facing towards you. Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, yep, there you go. Some hardcore beekeeping right here <laughs> yeah okay well 
All right, great. All right, now we grab the glass and we make basically a glass enclosure in this uh, open space there. So you'll need eight glass for the front, plus one on one side and one on the other side. So 10 total. Uh, well, basically placing it right to, right to the slab, right? Yeah, right on the slab, exactly. On the slab? Here, I'll, I'll put a dirt block. The glass should replace that dirt block. Okay. Yeah. And then in front. Yep, yep, keep going. Yeah, good, good. Yeah, okay. Great, okay, now grab the trap doors. I love that whole building here, and Lou is like like shooting stuff. She's keeping us safe. Yeah, true. Well, I've got uh, five levels from one night. Bad. Okay. Uh, trap doors. Yeah. Yeah, trap doors. Okay, so now what we have to do is protect these dirt blocks from getting stolen by Endermen. So just cover the uh, the dirt blocks with trap doors. And close them up. I love that we actually need to enderman proof this. But, but... Yeah, exactly. And, and the, the side? sides? Yep. Plus, we also will do the bottoms. So this side. And then crouch down and attach the uh, trapdoors to each hopper and then flip it up so it's closing the dirt block. Whoop, close. Try again. A bed ready. Yeah, may, maybe easier to do it that way, yeah. There's a skeleton riding a spider in the river. What? Yeah, if you come here. He's just got out of the water. Oh, he's back in. Oh, good. Smart spider. I think. He's just chilling. It was, um, he got out for a bit and then went back in when he started burning. Smart I've spider. never seen that before. Whoa! Someone's shooting at him. Another skeleton burns. Oh, oh no! I think it was crummy. Okay. Yeah. Uh now he's gonna drown. Ah, you can shoot fishes. Yep. How about that? Well, that's hilarious. Okay, how to entertain Lou? Here we go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I love how the skeleton is just chilling at the bottom there. <laughs> if you get close, does it does it shoot you? I'm gonna find out. Yes. Ah! Oh, but but his arrows are useless. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can he actually still hit you? Ow. Yep. I think the arrow backfired and he killed himself or something. Oh, you know what? I have thorns all over my, my gear. Ah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yay! That was fun. I think you do. I caught a fish with a bucket. Ah. I put him back. Okay. Get some water. There we go. All right. Where were we? Trapdoors, right? Yep. I placed them. Okay. Super. Okay. Next comes the flowers, I think. Oh God, how did I do this last time? Hang on, let me just look in here. Oh no, we need more hoppers. Okay, more hoppers. Get all 16. Yeah, I got them. Okay, and then climb up here. Yep. Put one hopper going into each one of these dispensers. And then on this end hopper only, put another hopper pointing down into it. Like so? And then add seven more hoppers all going into that one that you just put placed, all coming down to this uh, section here. Super. Okay, now grab a chest. Yeah, got it. Okay, and put one chest on top of the last hopper. Yep, perfect. 
Okay, so this is where you put in empty glass bottles, and then all these other hoppers are to um, let you uh, get uh, uh, to to re refill the dispensers with uh, with bottles. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, now grab the flowers. Got them. We need eight flowers total. Got them. And this is really hard. First, we're going to remove the slabs. Yeah. And you may want to use like a, you're not your high efficiency pick, but a nice slow iron pick or something. I'm it okay. Yeah, diamond, but there's no, no efficiency on it, right? No, oh, no, no, they're plain diamond. Okay, so remove each of the slabs that, that we have in here. This will let the bees out. But we don't want to hit the bees. So just hit the slabs only, carefully. It's a lot of bees. Yeah, that is a lot of bees, yeah. Now I plant, I plant, try to plant a flower, I think. Yeah, and to plant the flowers. Oh. oh no! Oh crap! We just fed a bee. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's grab another flower. There's good. Uh, oh, I see ah, some of these. Can you wait? I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Distract them. You come up here and then like lure the bees with the flower to here. You, hang on. I'll, I'll, <laughs> you don't have to plant the flowers from up there. You actually plant them from down here where I'm standing. Oh. <laughs> but don't worry. Okay. How do you do that? Oh, okay. Huh? Do you have a flower? Yeah. If you aim at the hitbox for the hopper, it'll plant the flower instead. Nope. The, the hitbox or the upper hoppers plant the flower pretty much through the glass. I'm going to grab some flowers to see if I can help out here. Nope. Well, it's sort of that, like, uh, it might be that there might be slightly too many bees here. Meow. 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 Oh, I found a whole new sport. Bee racing. <laughs> Look at it. Meow. This is good entertainment, man. Check it out. How does this work? I've done this like two times now. Let me lure some bees away. There, that's it. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot the. Duh. We need to. You need to stand on something. There. If you're standing on dirt, you can crouch down, aim at the hopper. Uh-huh. Yeah, you do it. I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> hmm. Maybe it's just stand on the wall? I need more dirt. Here's dirt. Oh. Some nice work there, guys. 
Thank you. All right, one more. Okay, there. All the flowers are placed. Cool. Okay, now we can get rid of this dirt wall that I'm standing on. Okay, last step. We are we are done. Almost. We just need the glass bottles. So grab as many glass bottles as you can hold. I have maximum glass bottle capacity. But when you like, you know, you bring carpet from your carpet, you just check your inventory full with um, glass bottles. Okay, climb up here. Don't put them in the chest yet, though. Come to the farthest dispenser, open it up, and make sure every single square, all nine squares, have at least one bottle in them. One bottle uh, well, is filling up here. If you open up that dispenser, you'll see how there's a nine by nine grid of bottles. There's no um, empty spaces. Yeah, yeah um, um, I, 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 I lost a few bottles there. That's okay. <laughs> like the bottle, eh, confused. Don't put them in the hoppers or the chest yet. We want to fill the dispensers directly. There you go. Okay, oh, so look at look at those dispensers. See how they're oh. see how it's filled. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Like that. Do each one of those. Yeah. The reason why is um if there's an empty spot. When the dispenser fires, it may fill up a honey bottle and then just pick it right back up. We don't want the dispensers to pick honey bottles up. We want the dispensers to um, only dispense empty bottles and then let honey bottles fall into the bottom dispensers. I'm sorry, the bottom hoppers to be grabbed. That one bee is braving the, uh, the dusk. He's like, nope, I'm staying out there. <laughs> I don't care that it's getting dark, nope. Yeah, I think because the the bees' nests are all full, that's the one that uh, Chromie just uh, bred earlier. Look at him. He hasn't got a little bit to go to. I know, poor guy. Okay, now what? Now we wait. We're done. But don't you need to put more bot bottles in the, up here? Yeah, yeah, you can put the rest of the bottles in the chest. Oh, look at him. Or you could try to spread them around the other dispensers by hand. Uh, Put all bottles in. I'm going to grab a bunch of them just to spread them around a bit. Could have at least like two in every dispenser slot. How about a whole lot of bottles, Pom? So if you're, if you're bored... So I've got like eight in each slot of that dispenser. Can I grab the last few ones? I love our uh, professional gating uh, here. I love it. The blocks are lovely. There you go. Okay, that looks good. All right, so I'm going to put the rest in the chest. I just flew my chest. And now we're done. Yeah, all the bottles make me. And sleepy time. Now, if we could have built this in the end, it would be better because there's no, you know, nighttime in the end, so the bees would work 24 hours a day. 
um, here in the overworld, you know, the bees go to sleep just like we do during when it's dark. <laughs> Look at them. They're, they're busy going. Sometimes, though, at least when we first build it, the uh, the redstone circuits will just get a little bit stuck. Okay. So it's possible to sort of kickstart it. Let me check to see if there's any honey bottles yet. Okay, none. These hives should have been full when they were harvested, so I'm going to kickstart it. Yes, I'm blooping. The subtitle list is so big on this. Oh, I picked up, picked it up. Sorry, no, I got it. You got the right. That's okay. Yeah, just put it right there. Okay, knock that one off. Yep, place it and done. Okay, and that should be automatic now. Come down to the lower chest. Sure, sure enough, we've got eight honey bottles already. Nice. And that's it. So each time you take the honey out, it's like make honey blocks or something, just put the empty bottles back in the upper chest, and and that's it. Julio, I am um, I'm still feeding bottles to uh, to the chest now. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's uh, just over three and a half stacks to go. Very nice. You can put some right on those uh, hoppers too if, you, if you're running low on room. Now, the next release of Minecraft um, is going to add copper as one of the metals you can mine. Mm -hmm. And um, that's where honeycombs will come in handy. Honeycombs you can combine with copper to prevent it from uh, rusting, from oxidizing. Ooh. So we can convert this from a honey bottle farm into a honeycomb farm just by replacing the bottles with shears. Okay. And it's done. Now we can just decorate, you know, put in some of the gates, put a roof over it if you want. I'm going to make a couple of gates here. Oh, here's one already made. Need one more gate for the back door. Ah, oh, Excelsior. Here's a bunch of wood. Yeah, very nice. Oh, I like it. I love when you stand on top of this. The bee buzzes happily. We enter hive. Yeah. Peace work. 
and it takes a little bit, and then you, you it, it pops out again and goes again, 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 again. It's quite good. Bee buzzes happily. Yep. Yep. That's nice. All right, let me collect all the extra building materials. I'll just put them away. That's good, guys. Thanks, Lou. I mean, they're never the prettiest things in the world, but they're functional for sure. Yeah, yeah. I guess, you know, we, we could drop it down, like, uh, A-levels, a make an underground factory like you did I, in I, Mars. I, I think it would, would have looked a little bit prettier if you actually, like, drop the whole thing down two blocks and then make like a little house on top of over it yeah but then again i do love having a beehive um on a cra on like a scaffolding so it sort of look like i want to make um the other one like the um not the bee nest but like the bee um what do you call it the bee box hive yeah yeah the bee box, the bee box. <laughs> I, I couldn't come up with a word. i love it we need to call it that though from henceforth, it shall be known as the bee box. The bee box. <laughs> bee no. box. Yeah, just using a single scaffold with a bee, uh, bee beehive box. on it. Yeah, looks bee really box. natural. Yeah, yeah, I know, but that, not a bee. Okay, I, I meant this. One. Um. Yeah, the bee bee's nest is the one that naturally occurs on trees, and bee hive are the man-made ones or the gnome-made ones. Yeah, this one, the bee box. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Anyway, so we can start playing with some honey block physics too. Like um one thing I found is you can make a like a tower of uh, honey blocks. And if you don't jump off of it, but just really carefully, you can glide on them. Actually, yeah, like yeah. glide down. Also, yeah, yeah, you can. Also, I saw some boat signs which you want to test. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we going to the Nether? No. Oh. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got a boat. I got a boat. I got a boat. Okay. Got a boat. We got a perfect subject here for him. Yeah. How high are we going? Nah, just up this hill. Because I think it has a leap of faith block. Right here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Should I get in? Yeah, well that's up to you. Sure, why not? Let's do it. You only live once. Lou, collect our stuff. See? What's going never, on? Never mind. We're fine. No fall <laughs> Yeah, no fall damage. <laughs> and apparently, if you make a little momentum, like like row a little bit, it will actually... Well, let's try that again. It will actually oh, make you glide a little bit. Dear God, no. Yeah, let's get some ice. <sighs> I wanted to have this as a simple experiment. Wow. Okay, fine. Oh yeah, to be honest, have like oh, like an like a bubble elevator up, and you go in a really high tower, and then yeah, make, yeah, make some momentum with. All right, Rapunzel. Yeah, <laughs> and then it pushes you forward. Huh? Like if you do it, like oh, yeah, push, push, push. Wait, 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 wait. I make a little bit of momentum here. Okay. This is seriously. This is why I love you guys. You're such dweebs. No, this is science. <laughs> You make like a look, it feels a little bit, see? Yeah, it does. And then it just softly yeah. falls down. But apparently, you can use this method, and that I didn't know. If you fall higher, um, you can actually, no, no, if you jump, you only get a maximum amount of blocks. Yeah. But the higher, if you make this twice as high, we land it like here. If you make it twice as high, you'll probably land like here. Wow. So it preserves you your horizontal momentum. Yeah, but you, you, you can't like. Uh, jump that far? Right. Yeah, you can, you can boat that far. Yeah, but you can sort of like glide it out. 
but the sun is setting and you know what that means i can subscribe in the next episode <laughs> ah come on lou in the next episode no, you said bye bye for now. Uh... Oh, I wasn't listening. Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. All righty, righty, righty. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in the next episode. And bye bye for now. <laughs> bye. Peace work happily. <laughs>